Hello lovelies, welcome to your August readings um, on this beautiful day um, at the beginning of July. It's Lorian here and I'm just going to be bringing you these readings for each sign. You can check out your rising, your sun and your moon sign if necessary or if you feel like it. Um, the good news is that my noisy neighbours, my very noisy neighbours, have actually gone on holiday now for a week. So I'm able to bring you these videos very early um, because it's all nice and peace and quiet and I don't have to do this in spits and spots. So that's wonderful for me. Hopefully it's going to give you enough time to prepare for August as well. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, my email's below. I would love to hear from you. And as always, your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, everything that you interact with with regards to me on my Facebook page and my Twitter it's very appreciated the response has surpassed anything that I intended when I actually brought out this channel so I just want to thank you all I am sorry that again I don't have a video camera things keep cropping up regarding bills and things so I do apologize for that but so long as the message is getting out there and so long as the readings are still resonating with people I am going to continue to do it this way at least until I'm able to get a better webcam at least which is actually able to fine tune and fine focus the actual footage of the cards so thank you for your patience with me thank you for sticking with me and listening to my guidance every month and I do hope that August is very good for your sign, whichever you are. Hello beautiful Aquarians, it's Lorian here with your August reading. Um, as usual we have four cards across the top representing about in a week of the month of August. And the oracle card below will be the overall message for the month. Now I know some of you may be drawn to the fact that Envy is involved this month. I kind of feel already that this is um, going to be a talking point for August for a lot of you. But let's have a look and see what we can figure out overall and let me tune in to whatever's coming through. Um, in the first instance it seems like it's going to be... You've been doing too much work. Um, you've been doing a lot of overthinking. You've been doing a lot of um, worrying, anxiety, producing things, trying to get things sorted, um, promote the best outcome, trying to get yourself, I think you're trying to work too hard at trying to make yourself relaxed, if that makes sense. There is a sense that you have worked so much over the course of this year, you're now halfway through, or just over halfway through, and oh, where's the time to go, you know, where, where's the time for me? And you may be working so hard to make sure that you're feeling or monitoring so hard that you're trying to feel, um, you know, at ease with things, that you could be getting yourself riled up even more. Now, that's just for some of you. That's not for all of you, because um, I do sense that it's just a healing in general month for the rest of you. Um, but for some, they are saying just kind of slow down with the eagerness to relax relaxation cannot be forced so whenever you feel like you can just step to one side and take a deep breath almost like a meditative breath and then release it that's perfect so in the first week with temperance we have the sense of completion of a flowing state and I would say that she is here in this card to show you that there is need to balance between your masculine and your feminine. She is there to say that you are able to heal. She also represents a few um, reunions of some kind. I do feel like if you are trying to unwind with friends you may come across some people that you may not have seen for quite some time. But I think there is a focus in this week of taking the time to look back on the year, trying to find out what is going on, um, where you are seeming to go. Um, also trying to figure out maybe on a bottom level as to what will make you happy for the rest of the year. So it's not about looking behind so much as looking forward in some ways. You do look at the past events to figure out what could improve for the future but it is about I think healing for now 
because especially in the second week there is a sense of a disappointment and the reason that they want you to look forward I think more to, than looking backwards is so you, that you don't worry about the things that may not have gone right for you this year so far so maybe you didn't get number one you know worker of the week um maybe you didn't get that promotion maybe you didn't end up with the woman of or man of your or anybody of your dreams um and you thought that they were the right person for you and then you took a step back and actually realized they weren't this is a month that is a full of nostalgia but it's also full of energies that need to come through so that you can really kind of see which direction is best for you I think this is also a cosmic clear out month for you. It's almost like you harvest, Look, just looking at week three, once the disappointment has passed and you've kind of brought yourself up over that, you are going to be picking the best things for you. That can be picking the best friends to take forward with you. That can be picking the best situations, the best roles that you want to apply for if you're looking for a job. And for some of you as well, I think this is also about trying to choose the way you go about a project. Um, I think this is also about partnerships. So you're going to be picking the right people that you want to be either professionally or romantically involved with. Maybe you're even drawing up a list and trying to be focused in the directions to where you feel is best for you. Um, because it seems almost like as soon as you do pick that, as soon as you do pick the way forward and you're able to really reap the rewards of this critical thinking and also this healing, you do then step out of maybe the mundane and you walk forward more onto your path because the Hierophant, yes, it can point to um, strict regimes sometimes, you know, like the religion is kind of a traditional way of doing things it's a set of rules it's a guide for you for control you can feel regimented in some ways um if you are part of a religious group but i also feel this is about being in the public eye in some way um or in a close circle of friends and being the center of attention when it comes to your way ahead um i do think that there's a sense of there's a there's a loss here, but it's not in the fact of a personal, you know, somebody passing away. Um, but there is a sense of a loss about this month as well. Um, I would say for August, for you Aquarius, there is a need to take a step away from your critical thinking in some ways of yourself. This week, the Hierophant um, represents the need to reconnect with... I would say your spiritual side and this I think is the week you finally find that balance that equilibrium to relax it's almost a sense that despite the oppressive environment that you might be in you finally have a sense now you've dumped everything that isn't ripe for the picking and you've really gotten rid of things that no longer serve you in some way you're able to kind of go forward despite pressures and you feel like something's been lifted from your shoulders. So these are the messages that seem to come through for the main four weeks. So you are going to be healing. There is kind of a reunion here. Maybe a chance for you to really um, move forward and reconnect with yourself in some way. Get over some disappointments by improving yourself and picking things that are best suited for your purpose. And then you're going to get to where you need to be. But the Envy card, which I know some of you may have been staring at for quite some time, this is not that you're going to be envious of others. This is for somebody who's going to be envious of you. You are now coming into the point where you can, as I say, public eye. There may be something, you know, whether you're the centre of attention and somebody may not like that. Somebody may think that you're stealing their thunder and that you are taking over or taking something that they deserved um in particular this card almost seems like they're trying to shield something away from you in particular they're kind of they're not known to you they will not show this 
outwardly, they will be very private about it. And being private and jealous is the worst because you never know who is secretly coveting what you have and who will try and do something about disrupting what you have because they will smile to your face and then they will do something behind your back. So this is also, I would say, just a kind of warning sign to respect everybody around you. Not that you wouldn't, but try and see what's actually going on. Because if you sense and use your intuition and somebody falls short of that expectation of being bright and kind of the smile doesn't reach their eyes, that's when you'll know. But it's just kind of a sense that because you're getting forward, you are automatically going to create some envy around you. And it's a good positive sign, I'd say, because it means if somebody's annoyed with you, you are going to have some success here. Um, Success breeds envy. And it seems like you are going to go forward in a positive sense. It's just unfortunate that you're going to have to have this dealt with around you. Now, September is a very big month because Saturn goes into a different sign and it's when it stays there, it goes into Sagittarius. And I feel that September is a big month for a lot of signs. So it's going to, you know, see how that happens. It's going to be interesting to take a look at next month's readings. Um, But if you'd like me to take a personal one-to-one reading with you, just get in touch and we can arrange something together. Um, If you'd like to purchase a etsy reading um that's frameworked already it's got all the questions or the um way that i do the reading there just purchase one of those and i'll be in touch as soon as possible with regards to that but in the meantime while august seems to be a bit up and down for you in some respects i do think you are still moving forwards and you will be able to relax and have that time towards the end of the month before you get going again in september so i do wish you all the best and do take care